Don't be scared, Marion. You got this. Y yeah You'll be just fine, as long as you're just fine. Yes? We're all counting on you. That's what Master said, but... I can't even find my way to the castle! Hello, excuse me? Well, hello, hello there, dearie! I'm having trouble finding my way to the castle. I thought I'd see it once I arrived in town, but... Uh... Castle's tricky indeed. Why did a doll like you want to enter that magic place anyway? Tell him. I'm a servant there starting today. <gasps> a contact inside! Uh? You can count on me! I'll get you there right now! Follow me! Hey! We're here! What the? Oh yeah! That thing has been crumbling to bits for a good while now. It's been like that ever since the king stopped showing his real face to us commoners. Some say he's been cursed, so that's why. Others say the king has died and haunts the place. I want to go back home. I got you here, so you're going to help me out, all right? I didn't agree to anything like that. Just find me a way to sneak in. I've got to find out what's going on there myself. I don't know. Thanks! Counting on you! Ugh. The bunny plushy boy has hopped off elsewhere. Is this really even the place? I made my way through the jungle, I can only assume used to be a garden. At the gates, a moody-looking guard let me in. He told me to find a jack-in-the-box named... Jack. Where should I look? I entered the room. Cooks are preparing a meal. It smells delicious. Still, there are less toys than I expected. In fact, the whole castle feels pretty empty in general. Good day. Good day. You must be the new servant. Yes, I'm Marion. Annette, you can call me Anne. Have you spoken with Jack yet? His room is up in the tower. I'll go see him. Thank you. The stairs seem to never end. It's really uncomfortable and a bit dark, too. But once I make it to the top floor, the view from the small window is great. Someone has carved the word Jack on the wooden door. No answer. It's probably locked, but I'll try anyway. He's not here. And what are these vine things? The whole castle is more or less overtaken by them. It better not be mold. There's also a curious looking box. I open the box. Inside it is a bed. Who'd want to sleep stuffed in a square space? <laughs> You're Mary and Marionette! <laughs> you scared me, Mr. Jack. I'm sorry. It was my full intention. I was looking for you. And you have found me. What are you going to do next? Hmm? Uh, uh um... I bet you didn't think that far. No, I, I didn't. I bet you didn't think at all. Hmm. Well, no matter. It's all right you're a halfwit. At least you're easy on the eyes. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Is this the face you make when conversing? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I forgive you, of course. We've already established your lack of intelligence, after all. But I do have high expectations for you, so please work on that. <sighs> oh, come now. I'm sorry I'm so harsh on you. Let me show you to your room. Here you go. Here's your keys and here's your bed. You will sleep here until you wake up, and then I will show you around. Thank you. You start tomorrow. Good night. I didn't think I'd get my own room. This might not be so bad. <laughs> my goodness, Mr. Jack! Forgot to say, welcome aboard. Good night. I hate this place, but I'll do it for Master. Listen, Marion. My fellow intellectuals are worried about the land of Toyboxian. Seems the king hasn't shown himself in months now. His right-hand man has completely taken his place. He's a toy named Jack. Jack is... Let's say he's very... Well... 
Let's not say anything. I want you to go work under him as a servant. That way you can uncover what is going on over there. I'll do it. But why me? I'm not particularly good at anything. That's precisely why! You're a hapless, clueless idiot! You won't pose any kind of threat, and he'll let his guard down! Hmm... Uh, I see. Thank you, sir. I have utmost faith in you. I'll utilize all my haplessness and cluelessness. Good morning! Uh, just barge in, why not? Good morning? You're late! I'm giving a speech to my subjects today at this instant o'clock. You are? I wish you would have told me yesterday. I didn't know yesterday that I'd give a speech tomorrow. But today came, and I knew I'll give a speech right now. At once, Sir Jack. King Jack today. But you don't have to bow down, because we're late! Yes, Your Majesty. I helped Jack dress up before dressing myself. Yes, this'll do just fine. Is he really going to public like that? I'll be off then. Yes, he is. I better get ready for the day too. He didn't show me around after all. Where should I work? Nowhere! Jack didn't bother giving me any orientation, so I'm not gonna lift a finger. Instead, I'll go looking for the king. I think I hear something. Quit pushing me this instant. Shut up! They'll hear you! I've changed my mind. I'm going back. No, 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 so... Well, can I help you? <gasps> oh! It's just a dolly from before! Almost gave me a heart attack. See, Soph? He's the one I was talking about. How did you get in? <laughs> That's a secret. You really shouldn't be here. I have to call the guards if you don't leave. Guards, my hiney! Thanks to you, we can finally solve the mystery of the missing king! Let's discuss this somewhere else. They tell me they want my help figuring out what happened to the king. I tell them I'm also here to find that out. It seems we have the same objective. See? I knew we'd find something good today, didn't I? <laughs> I did! Either way, my name is Sylvester. I'm Marion. And I'm... Really annoying. <gasps> Rude! I'm Bunny. Pleasure to meet you, dear. Let's get down to business, shall we? That basket case Jack is out there giving one of his bizarre speeches again. I figured this would be the perfect time to come snooping around. Yes. Many of the guards are watching over Jack right now. I suggest Marion guides us to the King's Chambers. Even if I wanted to, I don't know where that is. Don't you work here, honey. I just started yesterday. Surely you know at least some of the area. I... guess? Then it's settled. Marion sneaks around with one of us, and one person can stay behind on watch. There's a direct view to the square. So, we can see when the speech finally ends. Who will you assist around the castle? Gotcha. Let's go. Are you certain about this? Well... Of course he is! Come on then, dear. Bye bye Sylph! Sylvester stays behind with a worried look. Let's see... If I was a king, where would I want my chamber to be? I don't think it's up to the king. I mean, the architects... That's fascinating, Marion. Let's try this way! <sighs> uh, I don't know. Kinda not what I expected. Let's think about this first. Maybe here instead. Bunny! Nope, not here. I don't think so. There's logic to how buildings are built. If we just take the time to- Say, Marion, are those eyes just for show? Huh? Have you looked around lately? If there was some logic to this place, it sure fooled me. I can't believe this place is even standing. Fine, you lead the way. That's what I thought. Let's see here. That way! That way! I followed that Bunny way. around a bunch. So... Up yours, Marion! This place is huge! I didn't say anything. Yet. If we just keep going, we'll run into something. It's not like this place is infinite, you know. Whatever, it's getting late. 
Let's get back to Sylvester. One more room! No! Something is in the next room, I swear! Fine, one more. All right, but after that, we're going back. Got it! Hmm. Behold, the missing king is in this room! Bunny opens a door, leading to another hallway. One of these rooms! I'm going back. Wait, just one more! Marion! We return to my room. Marion! How did it go? Well... It was a waste of time. Don't say it like that! Cover me surprised. You're both blaming me, aren't you? Let's not start pointing fingers. As unfortunate as this is, I expected as much. Well, that's... Not because of either of you. One simply must fail before success. That's how we learn. So what now? We'll continue our search tomorrow. Bunny will tell me all the places you visited today, and I'll make a plan based on that. All right. Let's meet tomorrow at the same spot we did today. Gotcha. I help them exit the castle without being seen. I stare out of a window at the crowd Jack has gathered. There are a decent number of toys, but I'm sure it'd be a lot more if the real king was giving a speech. The crowd starts scattering. Jack will be back soon. And they'll have no idea I've already betrayed him by letting outsiders into the castle. <sighs> we didn't even end up finding anything. We'll try again. I'm sure we'll find something if we keep looking. Anyway, was I supposed to use this day to settle in? I mean, I didn't receive any instructions whatsoever. I'm sure Jack or someone will show me around tomorrow. I'll just rest until morning.